recurring tasks, 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 tasks in Notion. Finally, there is a native way within Notion to solve this. A common question with Notion is how to create recurring tasks. This has been an issue for a long time and you had to resort to third-party solutions to solve this problem. And now Notion has introduced templates which can create recurring tasks within the database. So we're going to look at that today. I have duplicated the tasks database, we rename it to recurring tasks database and we create a new page where we'll put all of this. As per usual, we'll link the database, we create a table view towards it so we can see the data. We have a few more columns here than we need, so we'll adjust that later. Let's go directly into it. We go to the new menu and we select new template. So a template is required and this is basically what will be copied or instantiated every time the task recurs. We then go into the list of templates, we select the triple dot icon and we change the settings. And there we set the recurrence, we set it to every day, and we set it to recur at 7.39. That's basically one minute from now. Let's look at what happens here. So we zoom in, I touch nothing, and when the clock turns 7.39, we get a copy of the recurring task. Nice! Alright, so if we time travel a bit and look at how this looks going back in time, we have this created column, that's the one we set up to be instantiated automatically whenever a note is created. So we sort by that and we can see our recurring tasks that were created one per day at 7.39. So here we see them. This is my recurring task and since it has contents, it actually has a little note icon. But we also see a problem. So we spent a lot of time calculating when a task is overdue and as you can see for this recurring tasks they don't have any due date um, that's not so strange we haven't set it but maybe we want the recurring tasks to actually be due the same day it was created so you have you have a day basically to to finalize it to do this we need to be able to distinguish the recurring tasks from the others first we go into the properties of the database we create a new property, a checkbox property, which we call recurring. And basically we will only check this when we're talking about a recurring task. Close that, and then we go into our recurring task template. The thing with templates is that you can both adjust the content and the title, as we've been doing so far, but you can actually also adjust the properties. So here you see the newly created property, the recurring checkbox. We'll check that. And that means that every new instance of this template that is created will have the recurring property checked. And this is then something we can pick up in our calculated column in a minute. So we go into the calculated column, we adjust the formula, and instead of only looking at the due date, we say that if it's a recurring task and also if the due date is empty then we want to use the created date as the basis for this calculation. Now you can see that the due date is calculated and instead of using the due column we're using the created date. Great! So now we have true recurring tasks in Notion. We um, skipped a little bit ahead this time and checked out templates in Notion. That's the focus of next week. But I think this is a nice episode to end the week on a high note. Thanks for watching and see you again tomorrow. Have a nice day.